For shipping? Well, no, we were we were buy, buying one. Buy one, buy one at full price, get the other one for two grand. Oh wow! Yeah. So nice. We bought ours and offered Kirby the, the other one for the discounted price, and he said yes. Yeah. So Heck yeah! And we got a new ship for, or a new lift for the shop. Yep. I'm not gonna turn down a deal like that. I'm gonna give somebody else the opportunity. <laughs> right. You know. Yeah. Thank y'all. Awesome. Looks like something. Yeah. Okay. I, don't know. I need to probably blast these a little bit more or calm them and blast them. Well, this one's waiting on you. Oh, yeah. How's yeah, this going? No, no, I ran out of DT connectors. Oh, you did? Yeah. Oh, you mean the pins for them? Yeah. Oops. I have more coming tomorrow. Oh, okay. <laughs> Uh, that's the only thing stopping me from finishing this tonight. And then I got a, got a TR7 here, so when you disarm this, uh, activate that and let it run for an extra 30 seconds. What is that? You know, this to that, to which one? This one that activates for another 30 seconds, you said? Oh, uh, no, there's another piece. What does it do? So, these are automatic window control modules, so we can use the factory Ford switch mm -hmm. for a much, much newer car to give it the look we wanted. So this will do the one touch and everything, and then built into that is the ability to automatically roll up or down the windows. And since the push to start also has that feature, we're going to add that. So when you want to roll the windows down from the keys, you can do that, but it doesn't pulse long enough to actually activate the windows. So I'm adding this to extend the pulse from half a second to three and a half seconds. Nice. Another hood on the outside cut up to make the inside inner structure, right? Yes. Donor. Extending the fender. Right. We're just getting surface rust off? Huh? Right here, yeah. Yeah. It back up again. Bronco top body work. How's it going? <laughs> Door panel? Yeah. 